Ladies and gentlemen, tonight, the bout of our heavyweight championship of Turkey Tango. With us on my right, in the red corner, weighing in at 55% alcohol by volume, right out of the Russell's Family Reserves, we got Russell's Reserve Single Barrel. On my left, in the white corner, weighing in at 58.4% alcohol by volume, we've got a Wild Turkey product, the reigning champion, Rare Breed. Now let's see a good clean fight. Welcome back to Tipsy Whiskey Shenanigans. I'm still Steven, this guy's still Alec. He's Alec, I'm Steven. And today we are doing the final episode of the Turkey Tango series. Turkey Tango. Yep. So, in case you didn't watch the last video, go watch it. Uh, Rare Breed. Here. Yes, pinned. And Rare Breed was our champion. It had finally knocked over that Kentucky spirit. And that was yeah. amazing after, how many rounds did that go? Three, four rounds? I think, I think like three to four. Yeah. It, it was up there for too, too long. Yeah, We're totally. It was like, it was that underdog. Long. It was the underdog yeah. for sure. I was not expecting it to go through everything as well as it did. Yeah. But I'm kind of like excited because these are the two that I'm like, I had a feeling like one of these two was going to walk away being the winner. I knew this was going to happen because it's just rip But yeah, so in this, today, we got Russell's Reserve Single Frickin' Barrel versus Rare Breed. Rare Breed. So, uh, like Alex said in the intro, this one's 55% uh, and this one comes out at how much, Alec? 58.4. 58.4. Uh, this is a higher curated version of like the turkey juice. Well, this is just their normal like barrel proof turkey. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and do a little quick head to head, figure out which one is the best budget line turkey. On the inside, we have letter C, and on the outside, we have letter D. Whatever. Uh, <laughs> all right, so let's go ahead and get into it, starting off with C. the inside, C. Ooh, nutty baking spices. Be able to pair. Oh my god, I just realized this is going to be the first drink of the day and it's like a barrel proof. So, uh, oh my god, that's so rich though. Oh yeah. Cherries. Caramel. So much cherry. Oak and baking spices. Yeah, this one definitely has a very um, full fruity palette, yeah. I'd say. A lot of fruit and then like that bit of yeah, like that caramel, yeah. oaky, vanilla. Yeah. Speaking of palette, let's go ahead and get in there. Super bready baking spices. Yeah. A little bit of black pepper. Not not so Cinnamon. fruity, but still. A little bit of cherry still. Not not a, a lot. lot of cherry. Not as much as those. But yeah, super dark like nutty spices. Oh, that's good though. That didn't slap too hard for a barrel proof. It is smooth. Like it doesn't feel like it should be up in the fifties. Yeah. Yeah, but definitely. Tasty. I get a lot, yeah. Yeah, a lot of the baking spice for sure. And you want to get on to D? D! Yeah. On the nose of this? Cinnamon. Yeah, this is a lot lighter of a nose. Yeah. A lot lighter, but also, um, More it's like, like ref it's refreshing. Vanilla y. You know? it is, the nose isn't as heavy. Yeah, it's, it's kind a of sweeter, like a, sweeter yeah. nose. Yeah, but like not super sweet with like bold flavor, just sweet and like a. Like walking into you know a floral like shop or something, I guess. Yeah, super floral. It's a little bit of cinnamon, still some oak. Let's get it on the palate. Way creamier on the palate. Yeah, palate a lot lighter. A lot more of like the vanilla. Yeah. And like the not. This one definitely doesn't have as much fruit to it. That yeah, I'm definitely. This is a lot more like 
vanilla, creamy baking spices. Yeah. Well, this has a lot more of like darker, red, fruity flavors. Like, like, okay. like, I can like a cinnamon banana nut bread or something like, kind of like that. Not so like fruity, just kind of overall like a, a good yeah. bread. If, it, if it's a banana though, it's a green banana. Yes. Yeah, it's not a black banana, it's a green banana. How about, how about? Distinct, di different. Fine, it's like a cinnamon bread. All right, so uh, round one has been done, and uh, I think I can say for a fact that C has been landing more hits, it's been yeah. doing a much better job of protecting itself, getting into the midsection, and just the, the knockout. It's, it's coming, I know it's coming. <laughs> round two, fight! <laughs> So we're gonna start off with D. A lot more. Uh, the spice is still there. Creamy vanilla oak. Yeah. Some like milk chocolate. Chocolate. Yeah. Like a nice uh, milk chocolate caramel nugget. Nugget. Like a Snickers bar. Like a a Snickers bar. Yeah, I'm going with the Snickers bar. Snickers bar. See, I'm getting a little bit more fruit. I'm getting a little bit more... Like a fruity Snickers bar. No, I think it's almost like a banana split kind of thing, if there's no banana in it. Caramel fudge, vanilla ice cream, you know, a little bit of cherry, like... It's 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 still, like, muted a little bit, but it's there. It I'm getting, like, apples and a Snickers bar. Snickers bar and an apple. Alright, I'm going for palate. Kind of like a moderate finish. Not too short, but not insanely long. Yeah. Um... I think flavor drops off before finish ends. Yeah. But this it, the, the palette's got so much more spice on it, so much more baking spice. Yeah, yeah, it's a lot less like chocolatey and more yeah. like baked bread yeah. kind of thing. Um, but it has a sweet note to it. Muffin, like a cinnamon, yeah. like a cinnamon apple muffin, but like if I could you like that. turn down the fake like artificial apple and you just pounded it with cinnamon. You're pounding it. Well, like, you know what I mean. <laughs> Pounding the midsection of the flavor. Yeah. All right, let's get in the C. All right. Ooh. Ah. Ooh. This one, I really have to say, this one has it's so, so much fruity. More, so much more, yes, on the nose, like. I am kind of missing, I am slightly saddened by the lack of like chocolatey flavor on the nose. See this? Like, cause I got a cho milk chocolatey there and I was like, I really like that note and I'm not getting it here. No, but here- But there's so much more fruit and yeah. like spices. It's, yeah, this one has way more of like this- that Would kind of you like say cherry. it's more robust? Yes. Ooh. Okay, yeah. onto the palate. Yeah. Um, it's like a apple cherry cobbler or something like that. Like, yeah. So much baking spice, so sweet, um, lots of vanillas, but so much like apples and cherries. Yeah, that it, it's really refreshing in this way of like it had it's literally like getting that like it it's there. It's this one on the the palate you don't get as much flavor. This one you keep the flavor you got from the nose. Yeah. It's a very good transition. Yeah, so um, I think both of them landed quite a few hits this round. Yeah, we're gonna go to the scorecard? Yeah, gonna go to the scorecard. There are no knockouts. Let's just put yeah. that out there. No knockouts. Okay, but judges will be back with their final decision in a minute. So after careful examination, we had to make a decision and the winner is Glass C, which happens to be where freaking breed. Boom. So that means Turkey Champ breed is the best sub sixty dollar turkey product. And the main reasoning is, I think we just preferred the more robust, fruitier notes that we were getting from Rare Breed that we weren't from Russell's. Yes. All right, folks, so that means this Wild Turkey Rare Breed happens to be the best sub-$60 Wild Turkey product according to 
tipsy whiskey shenanigans. Thank you guys for watching the Turkey Tango. If you haven't seen all of it, uh, we'll definitely check it out. Hopefully post some videos yes. here. And uh, welcome to come. There's more in the future. We can do it on Steve's favorite brand forever and always, Old Forester. We can do it on any other kind of brand that seems to you know be to your fancy. Let us know. We're open to suggestion. Yeah, but please do us a favor. Like, comment, subscribe. Let us know what you thought about this video. If you've seen the whole series, let us know what you thought about this series. Yeah, absolutely. And check out the Instagram and the Facebook. Uh, also, check out the Patreon. But y'all have a nice rest of your day. Cheers.